Hi, welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Today, I just want to show you how to design calendar for this particular year, 2022. So, how, how do you ask, uh, how do you design calendar for this year? So, I just want to show you how to design it. So, let's just go into it. So, I was first of all, let's go to my Photoshop. Then, what I have to do is that I just have to create my the document that I want to use and let's do that so I'll go to file I'll go to new then the name I'll make it I'll name 2022 calendar calendar okay then the document type I'll make it international paper then I'll use a3 for that then I'll click okay like this so what i have to do is that i just have to create new document uh, groups here and i'll call it background so it means that i just want to start with the background to everything yes so before that i have to give a guidelines what i'm working on so i'll come and pick i'll click on view then i'll come to gu a new guide then the vertical i'll make it 50 percent and i'll click ok so i'll come to view Go to new guide, then I'll go to horizontal, then I'll make that one to 50% like that, then I'll click OK. So that is how I'll have it. So I'll just come and click over here, then I'll come and pick a rectangular marker tool over here, then I'll come and draw something like this over here. You get that, then I'll change the color like this. I want a, a color that can fit in, you know. A very beautiful color however uh, we have, um, okay let me use this one for for this tutorial sake okay so let's see something over here so this is what i'll have over here then i'll save it like this then i'll save it i've already have one so i'll save it x like this okay yes so so the next thing i have to do over here is that i just have to this one this particular layer i just want to double click and right click and then create and duplicate it like this then i'll close up this one then this one i'll right click over here and restorize the layer like this so that is what i'll have now so i'll come and pick a tool over here called polygonal logo tool over here then i'll come and select from the edge over here then i'll move it to somewhere here to the side that is okay then i'll move it back move it back i'll move it back like this to have some shape over there like this you get that then i'll come and click on this one then i'll right click then I'll layer view cut like this. Then this one I will just close it up like this. You get that? Yes. So the next thing I have to do again is to draw another this thing over here like that. Then I'll have it like this. Okay. Not that too big, but it is really okay. You get that? Yes. So let's see something over here. So, uh, the next thing I have to do over here is that, so what I have to do over here is that I will draw elliptical tool that's a circular tool over here, like this, over like this. Then I'll right click and duplicate it over there. Then the down layer, I'll transform it like this, then I'll click OK. And that one, I'll reduce the opacity to somewhere, let's say 59. It's okay. Okay. Then I'll click OK. So, the next thing I have to do over here is that I just have to go and copy it what they sent me for the listing. So, this is uh, December 2022, Wally Wally unit games then i'll just come and pick this one over here okay so on that one 
I'll just paste it on that. Okay. Then I'll move it to here. Then I'll click on this way. And I'll come to characters and I'll change it to white. Okay, like this. And I'll make it 60. Like this up right there. And I'll zoom it just to get uh, yeah, really what I'm doing. So have it like this. Let me make it 50. Okay, let's see. Okay, 50 is okay. So I'll have it like this 50. Okay. So let's see. Then I'll come and click on the background, but right? then I won't pick the pictures they sent me to do that particular this thing over here. And there are a whole lot of pictures that I can select from. Okay. So first of all, I'm just gonna use this particular picture over there. Yes, then I'll move it over here. Then I'll transform it like this. Okay, like this. You get that. Then over here, I'll right click and then create a click on mask like this. You get that. Yes. So that is what I'll have over there. You get that. Okay, so on this particular thing, what I have to do is that I'll come to image, then I'll go to adjustment, then I'll go to brightness. I'll write it up, uh, let's say 15. 15 is okay. Then I'll go over and go to huge and saturation. Then I'll just move the saturation like this, just to have some color in the like that. Okay, so I'll have something like this. You get that? Yes. So the next thing I have to do again is to come up with some kind of writings on top over there, like that. Then I'll come and pick up uh, something over there. Okay. So I'll pick up this one, Nasar Elidis. Like that, then I'll click, then I'll paste it, and that one should be on this one. And that one, I'll just transform it. I don't want it to be too big, okay? But let me have it bold like that, okay? Then this one will change the the color. I want it to be a, a blinding color, a mood color like this. It's okay. Then I'll click. Okay, you get that. Then over here to I'll just copy it this one over here to like this. Okay. I'll just go back and pick this one over there. Then I'll come and paste it over here. Now change the distance to 16 and I'll make it white so let me just zoom it out like this then this one should go and be this one like this then I'll have it somewhere here and I'll just change it into this thing now make it so this thing okay okay so this one is okay just save okay so the next thing I have to do is that I just have to copy this one over there then paste it over here Then change it this. Now make it 60. Then I'll make it bold. Then I'll right click. I'll come and copy this uh, gradient over there. Then I'll come and paste it on that one like that. Okay. Then I, I do it this way. Yes. 
so the next thing I have to do is that I just have to go and bring in the calendar for January, February, March for that. Yes. So I'll just click on my listing over there. Then I'll just pick it. The three over there. I can place it over here. Like this. And then I'll hold control to click over here. Then I will come and click this one. Then I'll click on top. Yes, to set it into one listing. Okay. Then I'll hold shift and just transform. Shift open it and just transform it. Okay. So have it like something like this. Let's come up with the guy line. The guy line has gone. So 50% should be the guy line for this. Okay. So I'll have it like that. And then this one should go this way. So January, February. February will come somewhere here. And January should go somewhere here. And then March will come over here. And this one will be somewhere here. So I'll have it like this. Then put down a guy line over here to have a street and this one too. The guy line should come over here. And then I'll have it something like this. Beautiful. So uh, now save it so right now let me just change the colors over here so I'll just pick rectangular marker tool then I'll select only this part like that then I'll press ctrl u to come up with huge uh, huge and saturation okay then I'll move that one to in like this is okay then i'll come and select february like this then i'll select this one then i'll press ctrl then i'll move that one to also have something like this then i'll come over and then select march like this then ctrl u and then that one I'll let it come somewhere here okay then I'll have it like this okay so have it like this this one okay. so I've just come to the end of the designing of the pages we have page one page two page three and i've just designed the page one like this okay so thank you very much for watching this is dbm graphics bye, -bye.